Hey kids, welcome to Sal's Ramble Quick Time Thing. So today we're doing this super low budget effects scene. Here we've got our superhero, which I painstakingly spent minutes putting together. Now I'm just gonna slap in quick beams cause every superhero likes to have some cool effects beams here. So I'm just gonna slap in this and we're gonna say this is a real quick scene. Our character's powering up his super duper whatever the whatevers and we just need to plus it so the animators just thrown in a single pose that's all we get so first i'm just going to throw in these beams and i'm just going to spin them Wee! bam so immediately we've got these crazy flashing lights and we want to make sure if we do a shoddy job we hide our seams a little bigger hide those seams behind our character because I didn't I didn't do a good job but the real important thing here the camera quick so you don't have to painstakingly add in a jitter here there's a little node here called a quake node we open it up hold time you can tell it how long it wants to hold frames right now it's a single frame so it's going Dah! make sure your dude's staying inside the line so we may have to just scale our character up a little bit or we could tone down the quake but you know what i feel like i feel like our guy deserves the most quake <laughs> like this is one bad drawing and a twirling we might even need to twirl a little less here you've got control over your amplitude so you can tone that down a little bit you could ramp it up oh my god <laughs> like that's that's way too much guys calm down yeah so your amplitude starts at one you can shimmy that up and down. You can say you only want it to go up and down on the Y axis. You want to go Y and X or you want it to go on the Z axis. You're going full blast all the axis to C's. You, really, you want to rotate it too. Oh my god, <laughs> the power is out of control. And then you can throw in like a random, throw in a random bug. It's useful for lots of other things too. If you just need a quick stagger on something because you've got the option of controlling it on the particular axis C's, you can throw that in there. And if you put it on zero, it stops. So you do have an on and off switch just by adjusting the amplitude to off. But I mean, there you go. You got a single drawing, some twirling light beams, and now you've got the best effect scene. And with Harmony, it's so easy to just slap on some, some glows. So I'm just gonna ramp up our glow real quick, blur them out. Do we wanna keep in green? Let's just do go we want green but not like not a solid green like a cool like beamy looking green now we've got all our compositing done we've thrown a glow on our beam our guy's looking super lit yeah we want to so we'll just render it out and there you go high-end animation in just several minutes that's it if you want any other quick tips on particular modules let me know down below like share subscribe all those things into new people ask you to do and i will see you next time